How's it going today, everyone? Bo here from Bees. Yeah, we're still in Marone River, everyone, but as you just saw, the Red Tail Barracuda caught that guy, and now we finished up River Exploration, if I could say that. River Exploration numero uno. Now we're on number two, but I'll tell you, we're not going after those fish right now. We're going after the biggins. The biggins, everyone. Out here at this one spot, we've been doing live streams, and in the live streams, we've been chasing down other fish, uh, really finding out all the different locations that we can catch some of these monster fish, some of the uniques around here. We've found uh, unique Bayara. We've found unique red tail catfish. We've found more unique red tail catfish, and, uh, and look at that, a unique Triera. So, I mean, yeah, we've uh, we've figured out some things anyway, and I figured we would just go ahead and show off some of the stuff we've learned so far and maybe break some personal bests. And it wouldn't hurt if we did some of this exploration too along the way. So, of all the baits that we have tried out, I mean, we've tried the big livers, we've tried uh, the spotted araku uh, minnows, we've tried large minnows, we've tried huge cut bait as we're doing right now. This huge cut bait just seems to work the best. I don't, I'm not sure sure what makes it better than everything else, but it is working the best. And this is where we've caught our unique uh, red tail in the past. I have caught a few gildeds out in this direction, kind of where that, uh, you can see just the edge over there, and then that edge over there, kind of right between the two of them. So we might throw out our other bottom rod uh, in that direction. Uh, but for now, let's just get some rods out and see how we do. Ooh, we've got a fish on. We've got a fish on. Ooh. So I will say that with our past unique uh, red tail, we were using an ADOT hook. And this time I figured, let's go up. Let's go up when, uh, to a 9 aught. So I put 9 aught on one of the hooks, and then uh, on the other one I actually went up to a 10 aught. I figured, why not, you know? Let's try and see if we can get a, an even bigger one. I don't even know if they'll go after a 10 aught hook, to be honest. I know that I really struggle catching a Wells catfish on a 10 knot. God, he's just struggling with 30, 30 feet. He's deciding to just struggle around. It's like he's afraid of dying or something. <laughs> See, now we're all feeling bad for a digital fish. There we go, 54 pound red tails. Nothing to write home about. Getting some beeps already. That's a fish on. Ooh, small fish though. Now, some of you who have been playing this game for a while might be thinking, why not try fishing at nighttime? Nighttime's always been a pretty good time to be fishing for catfish, and it certainly might be at other maps. I'm not really sure what the deal is here at Maroon River. I've fished at nighttime for oh, a few hours now, and daytime fishing for catfish just always seems to do better. So that's what we're doing. We're sticking to daytime for now. Oh, there's a fish on. I finally decided to just stack them up. Ooh, ooh, that went straight to the top right there. If I had to guess, I'd say red tail. Well, let's pull up on him and see how big he is. Oh, he's nothing. He's weak. Let's get this guy in. Ooh, ooh. Made up a lot of distance there. Ah. Oh. I don't know, man. That gives me trophy vibes. Got him at 50 now. I keep looking down to see if I can uh, catch a glimpse at what he is. This water is so murky, but you can actually... I mean, the, the, the fish are so bright most of the time that you can kind of tell what they are. I'm gonna go with a red tail. I think I can just barely see the white of his underbelly and the brighter tail there. There we go. Look at this guy. Hey, hey, no PB's broken today, but that is 126 pound unique red tail catfish. $13,444. 14, uh, did I say 13? 14,612 XP. That's a big fish, everybody. That's a, that's a giant. Look at this thing. Look at that thing. These red tail catfish are so pretty and they're so big. It's awesome. Look at it. Look at him. Yeah. Well, top notch. Let's uh, let's go ahead and keep this guy. Throw this back out. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping one of these will finally be a gilded. If we've caught the unique red tail, perhaps the unique gilded is still out here too. Fingers crossed. Fingers, finger, God, fingers crossed. <laughs> Is 
Still trying to look down and see what kind of fish he is. Can't make it out with this kind of white color in the water here. Oh, might have a white belly here. No, look at that, it does have a white belly, but that is a unique gilded catfish. A new PB, everybody. 153 pounds, $14,904 and 18,800 experience. Oh my gosh, man. That is sweet. Hard work paying off, or at least hard, hard, hard work for being patient. That's a, that's a big thing for me. <laughs> goodness gracious. Top notch. Well, with that, I mean, goodness gracious, we've caught the gilded cat, or we've caught, well, yeah, the gilded catfish, we've caught unique red tail. Both of the big catfish here we've caught uniques of. That's awesome. Let's keep this guy, and we're going to mark him on the map as well so we can, uh, so we can remember where we caught him. Mark for the last fish, literally, like right next to where we got that uh, unique red tail. Yeah, that spot works, man. All I did was come out here. You know me. Uh, I saw all this deep water, a ridiculous amount of deep water. Um, it gets about eight feet out from this bank and just drops down the, in the deep water. Nothing. There's nothing that even like remotely tells you, oh, you should cast here. Um, so what I did was I just chose something, uh, you know, between that point over there and that point over there, I was fishing right in the middle of it. And then there were these two rocks here. So I just pretty much cast it out midway to those rocks and uh, worked out for us. Honestly, uh, that's that's awesome. All right, it's new day here in uh, Marone River and uh, 5 a.m. in the morning. We're still fishing the really sunny days. Uh, where we have a lot of good fishing here in the morning before it gets too hot. So let's go ahead and continue doing what we were doing before. Oh, it's another small fish, dude. Come on. It's a little bit bigger, I guess. Oh, I think it's a big red belly. Trophy red belly. God dang. Hey! Man, I knew if we kept fishing this area, or at least trying with the bobber, I knew it, at one point we'd get trolled with a silver croaker. All right, this is a favorite place we've been to before, that's for sure. You can catch fish off that little log there, trier. You can catch trier off these little lily pads right here as well. And we might do the float, because I have caught bricken here as well. I'm not sure if that's how you say it or not, bricken, bricken. But uh, yeah, let's cast out um, right off these lily pads with both the palm fruit and with the arakumino. And I'm hoping we can get something to attack it. Uh, no, I don't know what the heck this is. No, it's a ripsaw catfish, stupid thing. Get out of here. Oh my god, we got a unique ripsaw, though. <laughs> well, top notch. That's how to catch a unique ripsaw. <laughs> right when you think you've got it all figured out, fishing plan's like, oh, by the way, here's a unicorn ripsaw. All right, got the trier in. It is a trophy trier. All right, 50 pounds, $6,600 and 4,600 XP. And 50 pounder at that, not too shabby. I mean, look at that guy. There we go. 26 pounder, gosh dang, man. Ooh, that's a Biara. Oh, I had to do a, I had to do a slow. There we go, there we go, man. It's just a trophy, but there he is, the Biara. That's what we were over here for. Well, that's another one down on the exploration anyway. Ooh, man, he smashed that. He smashed it. Regular peacock bass, trophy. Trophy butterfly, though. That's awesome, man. He he just grabbed that off the top. That was sweet. All right, there's nothing here. Now, that little boat is cool, man. I just can't seem to catch anything out of it. This is like a regular peacock bass, though. All right, oh my gosh, a new PB as well. How many peacock bass have we caught? And finally, <laughs> here at Marone River, we got a new PB. What are the chances? And look at that, 2022. I mean, what are, what are the chances? What are the chances? That's awesome. Well, top notch. And we got it right over here by this, uh, by this tree sticking out. I saw that and I was like, that looks bassy. 
He has to be a unicorn, though. Has to be. Has to be. Got him at 40, though he's getting back out. I don't think I can travel over anymore, so hopefully we can get him out of the water, bro. Come on, man. Just need... Oh, he's at 10 feet. Let's go. Come on, show it. There we go. Oh, that is so awesome. 76.847. My God, man. That's a bit... And look at those teeth. The human teeth up there. Oh my god, that's so cool. Well, right on everybody. Let's see what Hino says. Just just last one one last little look here. Wowie zowie, man. Wowie zowie. That is a fish, dude. Oh man. Well, tell you what, everyone. This has been a fun one. I've really enjoyed this. Playing fishing planet, going back to Marone River, and really showing that growth an understanding of uh, different spots and, and uh, different techniques of hitting these different fish. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to see future videos, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe, you know? If you've been fishing here, why don't you comment about it down below? Tell us what your best fish is here. I'd love to hear about it. Um, and if you have any other uh, good ideas about where to fish. Make maybe you uh, show up at one of our live streams every Monday, Wednesday, 7:30 to 9:30 p.m. Central. But uh, yeah, we'll hope to see you there, everyone. Until next time, though, I think this is gonna do it for this episode. Take care, and as always, remember, everyone, we're one planet, one family. Game on.